The flag goes up at Walker's Point this morning. It was the first sunrise after the sun set on the life of the man who spent nearly every summer here for the past 70 years. I just had to get up and come here. It just... Andrea Long is visiting Maine from Massachusetts. She was one of the hundreds of people drawn to this spot across from the Bush family compound today. It's beyond what this family has done politically for our country. For me, it's the message of um, hope and love and family first. The anchor to windward marker serving as a memorial site for people bidding farewell to our 41st president. Holly Haskett is from Alabama. People have left notes, you know, one of the good guys is now gone and I mean it just brought tears to my eyes. It was very emotional. I was kind of surprised. Tom Bradbury is head of the Kennebunkport Conservation Trust. He talked to us about what Walker's Point meant to Kennebunkport's most famous summer resident. With all the cares he had upon him, uh, this was the one place he could come every year and relax and be with family and be with friends and to refresh himself on the ocean and it was just very, very special to him. The flag here at the compound at Walker's Point has been at half staff all day and flags around Maine will be at half staff for the next 30 days as Mainers remember President George H.W. Bush. That's the latest live here in Kennebunkport. I'm Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.